Are you a fan of Keanu Reeves and the John Wick film franchise? Well, I'm sure you'll be excited to hear that we're potentially going to be getting a female-led spin-off which is in the John Wick universe. I can already see the look on your faces as I've told you that. The female-led John Wick spin-off has found a director. Yes, a film that we've all been asking for. While John Wick 4 is coming to theatres in May 2021, a film we would all rather be watching, Lionsgate is teasing out a female-led spin-off. One that everyone has been asking for that will further expand the world of John Wick. Deadline reports that director Len Wiseman, who hasn't really done anything significant, but we'll get into his films in a second, has been tapped to lead the upcoming film titled Ballerina, which will focus on a young female assassin seeking revenge against the monsters who murdered her family. Never heard that story before, another revenge story, how original. There's already a script by Shay Hatton, who wrote John Wick 3, and the John John Wick director Chad Stahelski, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and Keanu Reeves as well, are apparently on board as producers. The character of Ballerina had a very brief cameo in John Wick 3, Parabellum, played by Unity Felon, yet there's no word yet on whether she'll reprise her role in the upcoming feature. Lionsgate has good reason to want to keep their John Wick franchise expanding, not in this direction. Each film has been a hit. It doesn't mean this one will be and Parabellum not only continued that trend in theatres, but it was also the highest grossing home release Lion Gate has had in more than five years. So obviously, this female woke spin-off will obviously be successful as well. Wiseman knows a thing or two about female-led action franchises. He directed Kate Beckinsale in the Vampire Werewolf Battle Royale Underworld franchise. A franchise I'm not particularly a fan of, but if you like it, more power to you. And he also did Live Free or Die Hard, a film that I actually thought was okay, but I know it is a rather polarising film to say the least. Now this article doesn't mention anything about this, but after I looked up Les Wiseman, he apparently directed that terrible Total Recall remake that we got as well back in 2012. I'm sure you all remember that film. Ballerina will have a high bar to clear to maintain John Wick's sensational level of stunt work and action set pieces. All I can say is don't expect that same level of quality Quality in this film. The John Wick directors have all been masters of the action section. Chad started out as a kickboxer and served as Keanu Reeves' stunt double in the Matrix films, and David Leitch was a stuntman and stunt coordinator before he became a big time director on action heavy flicks like Deadpool 2 and Atomic Blonde. I think as soon as everybody heard about this article, they knew what road this franchise was going to go down. Now, thankfully, it's apparently only going to be a spin-off film, it's not going to be linked to John Wick 4 or even the character John Wick itself, it's just in the same universe. But you have to question, seeing as it's going to be a film about the ballerina that we saw in John Wick 3, if you've seen that film you'll know which bit I'm talking about, seeing as it was a very brief scene, you have to ask yourself, is it even necessary to make a film about it? We all know it's going to be one of those films that's going to be pushing or potentially pushing a lot of left-wing politics, perhaps feminism and all that kind of stuff. We all know already that a number of other certain franchises have already and are going down those same roads, and it seems John Wick is going to be the latest film franchise that they try that with. But with the simple fact that John Wick, okay, the main reason people watch the John Wick films is for Keanu Reeves, it is really debatable on whether this film is going to be successful or not. It's going to be really hard to say the very least to market a John Wick film when John Wick isn't even going to be in the film. But I believe there is at least one bright side we can look at regarding this ballerina film we're potentially going to be getting. At least it's not going to be about this woman who appeared in John Wick 2. 